Hey all, Russ here, our very TV. Welcome. Check this out. This is the Once in a Lifetime video series. We're taking old footage, combining it into one big video. Today we're going to explore Wyoming. Sit back, get ready for a five day travel experience clear across this great state of Wyoming. The journey starts right now. Hey, good morning. Well, I'm getting ready to leave uh, Sheridan, Wyoming here. And guess what? Rain. And lots of it. Kind of spitter spattered all night long. Anyway, I'm going to jump on uh, I-90. I'm not going to go very far. I'm just going to go down to a little town called Buffalo. And hopefully the sun shines tomorrow because we need to start filming. I stayed at a little campground back here that used to be an RV dealer. It's right here in Sheridan, right off the freeway. Nice enough people. Was it just a big gravel parking lot with hookups? And you could hear that freeway noise all night long. I drove through here last year um, after leaving Sturgis. That's when we went up and did the High Line across the northern part of Wyoming. I think it was at Highway 14 going over the Bighorn Mountains. Right here is that campground. Right here off the left. Looks like an RV dealer parking lot. Well, it used to be. <laughs> now they turned into RV park. Don't stay there. It wasn't worth it. 32 miles to Buffalo. All right. We'll see you down there. One for you. Bozeman Trail. That lady at the back of that campground was talking about this. Run through here. There's John Bozeman. Named, they named uh, Bozeman, Montana after him. Some Elsa Spear Byron, explorer. Born in 1896. Jim Bridger, 1822. Wow. Anyway, that's what it is in the rain. <laughs> Look how far you can see. It's way out there. That's a long ways off. Way up there is the Bighorn Mountains, too. Can't see that. All right. Had to stop do something today besides watch it rain. This was a scenic turnout on our way to Buffalo. <laughs> Alrighty. Back in this warm van. This is Interstate 90. This will actually take you right back into South Dakota if you went far enough. Once we get up here to Buffalo tomorrow, if it's not raining, we're going to cut across the Highway 16. Looks like we're here. There's supposed to be a historic downtown. Maybe we can go film that. We can actually do that in kind of bad weather. <laughs> Well, I see a tiny little patch of blue sky. How about that? Yay. According to the weather, this is supposed to calm down. Tomorrow is supposed to be beautiful. And that drive along Highway 16 from Buffalo, um, heading like, oh, what would it be, the southwest. It's supposed to be a pretty, pretty ride. We're going to go check that out, too. Here we are. I think this is a scenic downtown. Old style houses. What we got up here? Looks like a big courthouse maybe across the street. Visitor center, there you go, bingo. Let's cruise downtown real quick. See what we see. 
streets are dry, so no rain right now. There's that courthouse. Oh wow, yeah, this goes way back. Look at the buildings. Cool. Boat hotel. Probably haunted. <laughs> oh, look at the mural. You know what? I'm going to find a place to park. We'll take a little walk. Old saloon there. Looks like antique shops. Big old brick front. Buildings. Small town USA in Wyoming. Kind of chilly today. It's only in the 50s right now with the rain. All right. Let me get parked. Let's go for a walk. I parked right in front of the courthouse. There was an opening. <laughs> no, I'm not going to court. This is an old timer. Look at this thing. It's been here a year or two. All brick. Powerful looking building. Alright, well, what do you say? Let's go uh, walk downtown. No rain either. Thank goodness. I think the elevation up in Sheridan is quite a bit more than here. We dropped down for sure, driving down 90. Every town's got a bell. Look at this thing. Probably served a purpose. Cool. Well, let's walk down. Go down this side, come back the other. Definitely want to see that big mural. Bakery, mm -mm. donuts, oh boy. Strong coffee and donuts. <laughs> the Virginian restaurant. Yeah, you can imagine the history. Old time saloon, Virginia Steakhouse. Occidental Saloon. Not open yet. It's only about 8.30 in the morning. Got their flower baskets hanging. And they got a creek running through here. We need a gold pan. There's that mural. Look at the... Longhorn steer on there. Wagon wheel on fire. Big old pistol. That's pretty well done. What else we got? More bars. <laughs> Looks like a little park cross street. Let's check this. Yeah, these buildings date way back. I spotted a museum behind the courthouse. It's not open yet. It's too early. We'll go in there too. Looks like their community park. Another mural over there. Statues of sheep on the sidewalk. Welcome to Buffalo. Why oh me? Clear Creek trail system. Okay, this is Clear Creek. Run through town. Look at this. I got a pedestrian bridge with benches. Sit here and just let the water roar past. Well, it's not roaring, but at least it's running past. <laughs> No, I'm teasing. What a pretty little town. History. Historic. 
Oh wow, look at this mural, Buffalo, Wyoming. Old metal fire escape going up to the second floor. That's very well done. Look at the old rounded windows on top. If those walls could talk, huh? Occidental Hotel. Wonder what that dates back to. It's got to be an 1800 somewhere. Pretty cool. Lunch served. Another cafe. Boy, you won't go hungry here. But the foods are good. Homemade pies. Ugh. Gained 10 pounds walking up the street. <laughs> All right. See the van way up there in front of the courthouse? Hey, it was open. Actually, a van about the size of mine pulled out. All right. Well, let's do this. That museum should be opening up pretty quick. Let me get up to the van. Then we'll go check out that museum. Wyoming Powder River Country. Well, I bet the fishing's good in some of these streams. A lot of history here in Buffalo. Map of the area. I'm really looking forward to driving across that Highway 16. Over there is a museum. See, I moved the van over here. This is their visitor center parking lot, public parking. So I think I got about another 10 minutes. Then we'll go check out that uh, museum. Memorial. Look at that Spanish American War. All the different wars. The locals that served World War II, Vietnam, World War One. Jim Ketchell Museum. This should be good. Probably got a lot of Western stuff. I really like the building. Look at that rounded section on it. Cool. Look at that Wild West. Got a rifle and his pistol up. That's cool looking. This rain's letting up. I think we're getting out of it. I'm going to spend the night here. I think I'll find an RV park. They got a couple of them over by the interstate. Well, what do you say? Should be open. Let's go in. Get some Buffalo, Wyoming, Western history. I'd say this old log cabin was moved here. Kind of a cool structure. Old stone foundation. Quite a bit. History. Wonder if it's open. I doubt it. Nope. All closed off. Alright. Let's go on in. Wow, that other building there says museum on it too. This might be pretty good size. Johnson County Museum. It's cheap enough, senior discount, like six bucks. You start downstairs, there's different levels to it. Wow, look at that old, is that a piano? Heck yeah, wow. Bet that thing weighs a ton. 
Look at that thing. Huh. Old wood doors and trim. That You can really tell the age of a building with the hardware and the doors and the trim. You can't even buy lumber like that anymore. Looks like a little conference room maybe. Whoa, he didn't have a very good day, huh? <laughs> Our big bad wolf. What we got over here? Here you go, here's the town pictures. History. It takes a lot of work to do a collection like this and to keep it going. Got to support these little town museums. Look at that, their marching band. <laughs> Back in the day, everybody wore a hat. You could really spend a lot of time just reading this stuff. There's the old downtown, look at that. Pretty much looks the same. Huh. There it is. Hadn't changed much in all them years. Okay, and we're walking this way. <laughs> I'll be your tour guide. Mission statement. Yeah, this is a lot of local history here. That's impressive. Pretty good sculpture. Well, which door do we take? Door number one. The Natural West. Looks like rocks and fossils from the area. Some of the history on that. There you go. Some of the critters that roam, roam around. More fossils. Once again, Wyoming, Montana, Dakotas. Huge for dinosaur remains. Almost every museum has something dinosaur. Looks like artwork maps you can touch the fur the different animals I bet kids love this place I'm sure the Native American history is huge. This place is like a big maze. <laughs> Just kind of keep wandering through these hallways. Behind door number two. More history about the area. There's a wolf. Some old furniture. Look at that old chair, old safe. Ha. Huh. All right, let's wind our way out here. I think we've seen about everything down here at the lower level.
Wow, look at all the animal heads. Fish. A lot of deer and it's blocked off. You can't get out this way. <laughs> okay. Whoa. <laughs> okay. I'll just hang out here with these guys. Wow, they're all staring at me. All right, I gotta find my way out of here. I think we're out going out this way. <laughs> yep, this is the level we came in on. Wow, look at the old rifle. Sure see a lot of old time uh, guns in these old museums. Look at the handle on that thing. Probably passed around in generations for a lot of years and ended up museum. Once again, saving history. Some old cowboy there, huh? Johnson County Cattle War. They must have had a cattle war. Huh. All the old ranchers. Part of that Bozeman Trail, probably. Those are really nice paintings. Very good artwork in these. Wow, look at those guys. Those old timers. Cool. I guess this way is like a maze. Oh, there's the he uh, deer heads. That's where I couldn't come up. That's where it was blocked off. <laughs> Love it. Get lost in the museum in Buffalo, Wyoming. Nice pictures. Look at that. Largest outdoor pool. They crossed out the word free. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, just history upon history. If you get a chance, driving up I-90, stop in Buffalo, check out this museum. Looks like a movie star. Walk down Main Street. We just did. What else we got? Look at the bells. Oh, here you go. There's that hotel through all the years. All right. I think that's the end of it. Let's get on out of here. Fun little stop. Oh, look at the weather. No more rain. Nice and dry. Yay. Well, I'm going to go find that RV park. Blue sky over there. We're going to have a great trip tomorrow. Definitely a fun little stop. Buffalo, Wyoming. Well, I called. They got a space available here at the Indian Campground. Pretty close over here off uh, I-90. Go ahead and get checked in. Very friendly place. Look at this, a real RV park. Yay. Got big shade trees. Really don't need them today. I'm going to go ahead and get parked. Hope for some good weather tomorrow.
look at this, we got blue sky, yay. No more rain. What a old time town. Last night I got online, was reading a bunch of info on Buffalo. This goes way, way back. Wasn't that little museum right up here cool? Tons of history. Make sure you stop and check it. Okay, we're going to make a right here. We're going to pick up on Highway 16. We're going to be on this road for a while. Green grass. You know, we're up in elevation. They get tons of snow here. <laughs> but summer times are just flat beautiful. This should be one pretty drive. We're going to cross over the Bighorn Mountains up here. It's called Cloud Peak uh, Scenic Byway. Bighorn Mountains. Just all kinds of cool stuff. We'll end up near uh, a town called Ten Sleep. Warland. Then cut down to another one called Thermopolis. All kinds of cool places along this Highway 16. Should be epic. But look what a postcard picture that would make. Little house on the prairie right, right next to the Bighorn Mountains. All tree covered mountain pass. Absolutely beautiful. Looking forward to this. If you go online, everyone raves about this. Plus there's camping all through the area up here. Dispersed BLM camping and campgrounds. I'm sure there's stream fishing and everything up through here. Well, we'll just take our time. We'll wind our way up. Should end up at a big mountain pass up here, too. Close to 10,000 feet in the air. Well, we got the good old sunshine right behind us. Should make some good video. It's pretty early in the morning yet. Kind of timed it out this way. There's quite a bit of rain drove down through when we left Montana and got into Wyoming yesterday. Sure cleaned up the sky though. Look at that, a truck runaway ramp. Oh boy, it's a pretty steep grade. We'll just take our time. Well, we're losing our trees. Looks like we're getting up elevation here. I know my ears are popping. <laughs> I think the entire state of Wyoming up there pretty good in elevation. Sign says, ah, 14-day camping limit. So guess what, BLM? What else we got? Point of interest? Well, I'm interested. How about you? I see storyboards. Yay. All right, here we go. Pull in here. Cool.
there they are. Well, get parked here a second. Kind of cool. I just threw my jacket on. <laughs> Not used to that. Looks like they got hiking trails here, I bet. Either that or mountain biking. Okay, what's it say? Shape another landscape. Ooh, shows volcano, big trees. Okay. What else we got? Mountain of color. All about the vegetation, flowers. And maintaining the balance about all the wildlife. Man, I bet there's just a ton of it. Here we go, bighorn country. Wow, look how big. There's a map. We're going through the southern part of it. Right down there. Cloud Peak Skyway, that's what it's called. Cool. Well, we're going to go among the clouds, along the Cloud Peak Skyway. There you go. What else we got? Oh, there's the name of the peaks. Perfect. The adventure that lies ahead. Okay. Looks like some scenic turnouts. There's that mountain pass. Cool. All right. Well, what do you say? The journey continues. Let's keep going. I'll show you. I got the camera mounted up front. That's a GoPro Hero 9. That's how I get a lot of the road footage. Away we go towards the peaks. Cloud Peak Skyway. Kind of a cool name. It's all fenced. Probably open range. I bet there's cattle all over up through here. really brown it's probably kind of typical though the brown grass this time of year into summer early fall getting in some pretty good pines pretty thick ones oh look at the little cabin there wow few of them that might be camping there huh or private land, who knows? But 14 day, that sign back there said 14 day, so that's dispersed camping. Well, here's a sign for a campground. Yep. Pretty cool. Old farm equipment out there. Can you imagine back in the day traveling along through here in your horse, buggy, no paved road, just cutting through the mountain passes? Winter time, they shut this road down. They had gates back where we started. So if the snow gets too bad, they just close it. Well, this high elevation be impossible to keep up with the snow. I'm sure it gets feet deep. Many feet. <laughs> All kinds of little turnouts here you can stop. What a pretty ride so far.
Let's see what else we get into here. We're climbing still. More signs for day use and camping. Here's a little pull out. Let's take it. Take a break a minute. A lot of traffic on this road. It's uh, This is one busy highway. Kind of hard to film. I keep getting pushed. But this is pretty scenic here. There's all the peaks. That sign back there said they're about 12,000 feet in elevation. Wow, look at the clouds that's hanging on top of them. There's your Kodak moment. Ooh, I see rigs out there. There's camping. Look how spread out they are. There's even a little bit of snow on the top of them peaks left. Wow, is that gorgeous or what? Between the pines? Huh. And then the road just cuts right through it. Beautiful. Looks like a lake back in there. Road cut back, probably fishing, camping. I'm sure hunting here. As far as you can see, nothing but trees. These, this is one of those places that you could spend the whole summer if you want to escape the heat out of the south. Heck yeah. Come up here to Wyoming. It's like a resort off to the right. It's camping there. It's RV sitting. More campground signs. And we are still climbing up. Make sure you got a full tank of fuel. Haven't seen much of anything for stores or fuel. Oh, we got an overlook here, scenic. Let's take it. Make a left here. Right here. Sign said Loaf Mountain Overlook. We'll check it out. Good road so far. Usually up in these high elevation snow country, they get pretty broken up. But Wyoming takes care of it good here. You don't hear a lot about Wyoming. Oh wow, look at the view. Oh yeah. Look at that. Imagine back in the day. All right, here it is. Loaf Mountain Overlook. Get out of the way, shadow out of the way. There it is. I had to put a jacket on. <laughs> Look how thick them pines are. One lightning strike and that goes up like a tinder box. You see a bunch of dead ones in there too. But those are thick. That looks replanted, doesn't it? Look how small they are. They're just a sea. Of trees. Okay, moving on. Another good stop. Looks like we're getting a little overcast coming in. And we're still climbing up this mountain. <laughs> well, when we traveled that Highway 14 last year, we were way up in the air there, too. Well, 
trees are thinning out. I got some big pull-offs. It says chain up area. So in the winter you chain up the tires. I'm guessing we're elevation. We got to be over 8,000 feet here. Look at this. Here's another one of those uh, road closure gates. Probably gets drifting too bad and they just close it. Back in some trees. This Cloud Peak Skyway just keeps on giving. Byway, Skyway. We're getting closer to the clouds too. <laughs> this is a photographer's dream up here. Take pictures of everything. Beautiful ride. Traffic lightened up a little bit once we got past all those campgrounds, too. That, that helped. Okay. Oh, no. Oh, no. Aw. Oh. oh, boy. That'd do some damage. Poor guy. That's something I guess you really got to be mindful of. I wasn't even thinking about uh, deers and all that getting out in front of you. This has to be up near the top. We're way up in elevation. Yep. Think this is it. Big old pull out here. We did it. See what this sign says. Powder River Pass, elevation 9,666. Woof. We're way up in the air, huh? <laughs> cool. Look how the trees just dis disappear. Little storyboard there, let's check it out. Welcome to Powder River Pass. Almost 10,000 feet. Right there, look at there. We're way out in the middle of the mountains here, huh? <laughs> it says weather conditions discourage growth of trees. It discourage a lot of things. Imagine that elevation here, the amount of snow. Absolutely beautiful here. What a pretty ride this Highway 16. Cloud Peak Skyway. It just keeps giving. Right up here, Powder River Peak. It's looking back towards uh, the way we came up from Buffalo.
Well, what do you think? I think it's all downhill from here. They got snow fences up for drifting. Snow. Quite a few of them. That's a lot of lumber it takes to build one of those. Those things are huge. Both sides of the road. We're on Highway 16, cutting through Wyoming and kind of heading down towards the uh, southwest. Starting to drop south. Look at these views. Pine trees, perfect road, perfect weather. We just left that Powder River Mountain Pass. That was so cool being up there, almost 10,000 feet. You don't realize how high up you are in elevation. Wyoming just keeps giving. So this is going to be one of these drive and let's see what we can find videos. <laughs> Campground right there. I'll just look for pullouts. We'll stop. Kind of do the sightseeing thing. Boy, this 16, I'm so glad I dropped down into Wyoming to pick up on this road. It, it was a big debate which way I was going to start heading south. With myself, I was debating myself. <laughs> what do we got here? I see a history marker, storyboard, a lake, pine tree. Oh man, we got to check this out. Look at the view. It's got to be a campground down there. Let's see what these things say here. Company 841. Aha! CCC built the dam back in 36, 1936. Conservation Corps. They also helped fight forest fires here. So that lake has been there a long time. And Wyoming's beautiful, isn't it? What's this one? Aw. Oh. Memorial to the Shoshone Firefighters. The ones who lost their lives. 1937, they battled a big forest fire here. It's a memorial to them. Alright. This is picture perfect. 16's a good road. This is one to come back to again, too, for sure. I've passed so many different campgrounds. As far as you can see is nothing but trees. It's not a huge lake. I bet there's good fishing in there, though. Really don't see many boats. Some of these little lakes, I don't know if they allow motorized boats or not here. Yeah, when you think of Wyoming, you don't think of stuff like this. Beautiful. All right, let's keep on trucking. That's a cool little stop. Bird's eye view of Meadowlark Lake. See, there's pullouts everywhere. Look at that, there's fishing boats there. So that must, must be a boat launch. Looks like a little resort. Camping, fishing. Cool. Well, I'll just keep looking for another one of those pullouts like that. 
That's per perfect. Looks like we're getting back in a little bit of mountains up here. See the cliffs. We got to check this out. Look at this. Look at this. I need a break anyway. I spotted, looks like a river, creek or river, run alongside of the road. Let me get over there a second. Don't want to get run over here. There it is, can you hear it? Bet you could do some fly fishing down in that one, huh? Boy, that thing's loud. I bet early spring. Ten Sleep Creek. Actually, I think we're going to run into a little town called that, too. Ten Sleep. Look at the water roar. Yeah, I bet. It's probably connected with that Metal Arc Lake back up the road. Where's the fishing pole? Oh man. Could you camp? Stay here? <laughs> I could. Look at those rock cliffs. Wow. We're going to drive right past him. Cool. All right. Well, I kind of spotted it driving. I had to stop. See a lot of people hauling four-wheelers here, too. All right. Back to the van. There's a view for you. Here's your Kodak moment. Rock wall cliffs, straight up and down, right along Highway 16, cutting down through a valley. Oh man. There's the creek. Look how it's hidden. The pines there, loving that water. Grow right through there. And that's the direction we're coming back down from. Uh, the mountain pass, absolutely beautiful here. All right, well, what do you say? We'll keep on trucking. Dirt road going out that direction. These are one of these places you really need some local knowledge. Someone to really give you some history of what's out here. Well, here we go. This ought to be good. Seems like the farther we go, the better it gets. Miles-wise from Buffalo, we're not real far. Maybe 40 miles, 50. But we're definitely dropping downhill. Oops, storyboard. Guess I could have stopped here. <laughs> I want to see that creek back there. See what this one says. What's killing the trees? Oh boy. They got disease going, it looks like. Huh. They're losing some trees here. Boy, that's all over the country. A lot of diseased trees, especially like Montana, Idaho, all over. Wow, look at that view. Must be hikers here. They could hike the trails. All right, had to stop. Let's keep on trucking.
There's the Hero 9 capturing the road footage. Drives like these, that's where I usually mount the camera. Look at all, they got climbing gear. That's what they're doing. They're climbing these rock cliffs. Aha! Uh -huh. Those guys had ropes, backpacks. So they're climbing these things here. What a view. Oh, man. I don't know if I want to be up there climbing around these things. Well, maybe if I was 100 years younger. <laughs> what we got here? Switchbacks. 25 mile an hour. Hopefully there's another pull-off up here. Look at this view right here. Oh, man. And a big parking area. This is absolutely perfect. We say, you want to stop? Just as far as you can see, look at the elevation difference between the road and the top of the cliffs. On the other side, there's a dirt road. That's probably the old, old highway, I bet. Wonder how they get over there. Huh. And there's the creek. Yeah, those trails go way up in there. A lot of this is BLM. I bet you could do some camping up in here. What a view. Look at the size of that car. You, that really puts in perspective how massive these cliffs are. This is definitely too cool for school. We are dropping down quick to what were we up top? That was 9,600 feet. We're dropping down fast. My ears are popping. <laughs> Another pull out. I imagine in the winter, you'll need a snowmobile to plow through here. <laughs> I bet they get feet of snow. Well, enjoy the scenery. I'll just keep the camera rolling. see what they're fishing down there too there's guys way down there fishing they're hiking down from the road boy I bet that's crystal clear water good fishing I know fly fishing is huge up in these areas look at them rocks right alongside the road they can come tumbling down on you huh <laughs> Seen a couple signs. Watch out for rocks. Wow, look at this one. That is straight up there.
This is like the Wyoming version of the Grand Canyon, huh? People taking in the view. I'm just wondering how you get across the other side of that creek, because I see vans over there camping and uh, tents. So they're definitely camping on that side. Somewhere up and through here must be a bridge. Just winding right down through here. This is absolutely gorgeous. This one's going to go back on the bucket list to really explore someday. You could spend a whole month up in here checking this out and the weather's perfect you could beat the heat here in the summertime truthfully I really like that town of Buffalo that was a cute little town very friendly very RV friendly fish hatchery up down in there I bet oh my goodness what a great place for a fish hatchery we're getting down near the bottom of this canyon I think highway 16 west running right through here in Wyoming Well, that little town should be coming up pretty quick, according to the phone here. Well, what do we got here? House, little church, gates closed. That's probably all private property there. Cute little church. I bet the history here is just vast. There goes an RV or pulling this fifth wheel. Really, that grade's not that bad going up through there. What's that sign? Trailheads for hiking. Speed's dropping down. Must have some road construction. I see little cabins. There's an RV. Yeah, this is all RV park camping. Wow, look at all the vans in there. This must be the place to come if you got a van. Little casita trailers. Cool. And a uh, traffic light. They got a bridge work going here. Been pretty lucky, really hadn't had a bunch of construction on this road. You know, that's one thing, I travel so much, I run into a lot of it around the country. You know, we've been a long ways this summer series. A lot of different states. Left Arizona in the middle of April. We're still going. Look at the green grass. This is a pretty plush area. What a sheer cliff straight up. Man. Well, looks like we made it to the bottom. We're out of the canyon. What a ride down to there. My goodness. That was absolutely gorgeous. I highly recommend this Highway 16.
Here it is. There's this little town called Tensleep. What a name, Tensleep. <laughs> See what we get here. This is Small Town USA. Back roads. Small Town USA. And here we go. Got the flags flying. Wood buildings, metal roofs, everybody knows everyone else, green trees. <laughs> Love it. And you just see them on every route you can take. You just got to look for this stuff. Local gas station. Well, what do you say? I'll stop. I need stretch legs. Walk around. Looks like uh, not too much open here. Emporium. Let me pull over here. Pizza. Cool. Let's go for a walk. Ten Sleep Saloon and Restaurant. We sell packaged liquor. Probably the happening place of town there. Look at the little wagon wheel on their railing. Real estate guy. Gunsmith. There you go. Mitzi Salon. <laughs> These some old buildings. These things have been here a long time. Wood-fired pizza. Wow. Old metal sign on that thing. Been here forever, this stuff. Little store across the street. Cool little town. Well, we're going to continue on. Keep on 16. There's another bar. <laughs> Love it. Small town Wyoming. There's, oh, RV park. Check it out. Ten Sleep RV park. Definitely going to come back up in here. Maybe next season. A lot of horse trailers down in there, too. Branches, horse country, dinosaurs. Mountains. Farther on up the road here would be, what, the Tetons? We're below Yellowstone. But the Tetons would be over this way, too. What a cool ride down that mountain pass. My goodness, right through that canyon. That was epic. That's definitely one to come back to. We are on Highway 16. We're going to head over to a little town. We're not going to go very far. A little town called Warland. They are supposed to have uh, just one super museum there. It's supposed to have a bunch of dinosaur... Uh, Fossils, all kinds of good stuff. So let's go check it out, like right now. Perfect weather, blue sky. A little hazy, not bad. Look at this. Look at the terrain changing. <laughs> After being up there in the Bighorn Mountains, uh, 
quite a difference. But this entire region is supposed to be just full of dinosaur remains and fossils and all kinds of stuff. So it should be pretty cool. Once we get up to Warland, and uh, we're going to pick up another Highway 20 and start dropping south. See a ton of RVs up here. Of course, we're not too far from Yellowstone and Tetons everything. Look how barren it looks here. No trees. This is looks like this high mountain desert high plains desert Wyoming is such a cool place if you get a chance you gotta check out this state it was a big RV oh farms looks a little greener here Big farms. Well, here it's ranches, probably, I'm sure. Oh, wow, look at all the cows. Holy. There's a few quarter pounders of cheese. My goodness. Huh. Well, we must be getting closer to War Warland. It was only about 30 miles from Ten Sleep. Coming over here, according to the phone. Must be that straight ahead. Look, it's getting greener up towards there, too. Cool. Hey, hey, I think we made it. Bunch of ag fields. As flat as a pancake, too. <laughs> From mountains to plains. Yeah, speed's dropping. We gotta be getting close to town. Here you go. Welcome to Warland, Wyoming. Look at that, they got a big comfort in. We're in the big leagues here. Nice houses. Green grass. Big trees. Small town, USA. Back road, small towns. RV or TV special. Yay. <laughs> Why take an interstate when you can stop and see the scenery like this? Okay, I better pay attention. That museum should be up here pretty quick. Always like looking around, driving through these places. Oh, look at this RV park. There's the Warland RV park. Good info. See a lot of boats. I bet there's lakes around here somewhere. Aha! Oop, oop. Almost missed it. Here it is. Not too many cars. Let me get parked. We'll check this thing out. Look at the size of that mammoth. My goodness. That is huge. Imagine back in the day seeing one of those things. This is a pretty big building. Look at this thing. Huh. 
imagine looking out your window and telling your wife, hey, there's a big mammoth out the back door getting in the trash. <laughs> Nowadays we worry about a bear. <laughs> Joke, just teasing. Very nice young lady working here. They got a little bit of this closed off for the restoring. But they're supposed to have a world class dinosaur fossils, skeletons. What do we got here? Morrison, so it must be the different areas. I guess it's huge here. Looking for, oh wow, look at that. Oh. Have you seen that show on TV, one of the Discovery or History channels? About how they find uh, dinosaur fossils on ranches, Montana, Wyoming, even clear down New Mexico. Fort Union and Wildwood. So this stuff is getting discovered around here. Back in the day, it was palm trees and paradise. When the earth warmed. Wow. You know, this is really well done. I go to a lot of museums, but this is very well done. Huh. In Warland, Wyoming. Gotta stop. Man, look at them. Goodness. The lighting is kind of on and off in here, so if the camera flickers, I apologize in advance. Nothing I can do. But majority of it's pretty well lit. Man, look at the size of those bones. Pictures of them discovering them. They put them in a plaster cast when they remove them from the ground. I've seen that on that show. Millions of years old. Absolutely millions. Imagine throwing a spear in that thing and he got mad at you. pot of soup out of that. Oh my goodness. That is huge. They weren't kidding. When you read the reviews of this online, it's very, very good. Sample. Well, how they lived back in the day. That's something. What else we got? Cooking. That's how they cook. Good place to live. Change of the planes. Wow, look at the petroglyphs, the pictures of them. Huh. Oh, wow, look at this. That's how they told their story. There, That was their record keeping right there. Look at this. 
That's cool how they took photos and put them up here like that. Isn't that something? Thousands of years old. Some of the old artifacts. Looks like pottery, tools. Well, there's supposed to be another section. Look at that guy. <laughs> yeah. It's a different time, huh? Why we dig? They're just everywhere, all these uh, fossils. It's supposed to be another section. It's more of the local history. This is it here, I think. Buffalo or bison. Boy, I keep getting that. <laughs> Whatever. Represents an old cabin. That's kind of cool. Look how they made the door for the picture. The way they lived back in, in the western days. Johnson County War. You know, that other museum in Buffalo had about cattle wars and range wars or 1887, 1892. Huh. Oh, there you go. This is probably a two horsepower RV back in the day. Look at that thing. <laughs> you think RV is new? Nope. Not at all. So you can roll up one side, catch the sunrise, roll up the other one, catch the sunset. Home on the range, you got it. Mobile home. Isn't that something? Wow. I love them old black and white pictures, don't you? Oh, look. Hardware stores selling them. Wagon implements and farm machinery. Come buy a wagon. Different bells. You know, that'd be fun to stay in one of these. Got a wood stove. There's your broom. Sweep out the dust. Wash basin. Here's your little kitchen. Got a bunk bed there. Cabinets. Pretty well thought out for the space. Sweat equity. Huh. Spring Creek 1909 raid. Boy, the history here is vast, isn't it? Wow. Big change in Big Horn Basin. That's a survey stick. Mankind changing it. Look at that. Look at that old tape measure. 
metal tape measure. <laughs> Big old train trestle bridge. Wow. Waters, 1900s, and rail. So they're building dams and railroad, changing the way everything was. What's that old movie? How the West Was Won. This museum is cool. With a capital K, very cool. Lights kind of shining, but look at the picture. No one's smiling. <laughs> Old report card. Just different times, school bell. Teacher rings the school bell, get in here. Just totally different. Ride your horse to school. Oh, look at the camera. Yes. Recording history way back then. Too bad they didn't have video back then. And there's the old town. I'll be darn. What a cool stop. That's actually a TV screen. <laughs> it's pretty cool, really. Shows a door there. Another statue. All right, well, what do you say? What have we got over here? More pictures. What a great stop. Highly recommend this Warland Museum. Just look for the big mammoth statue on the main street. You can't miss it. Well, we got to go find this Highway 20. Cruise downtown here. Yeah, I think uh, next season I want to come back up, do a lot more exploring around Wyoming. There's also a lot of parts of Utah that I haven't done yet. Looks like they got some pretty big stores here. Every town has a Yuck Donald's. There's Blair's Market. Fuel. You got it. This is the hub. Now, if you head north from here, you'd be, be heading up towards Yellowstone. Tetons are, aren't too far away. Small town USA. see I see some signs up here somewhere we gotta start dropping south here it is here Yellowstone to the right Thermopolis we're heading to Thermopolis Wyoming. Oh, look at this. They got a farmer's market, outdoor farmer's market going there. Right there at their town park. Hometown, huh? Can't beat it. Oh, 
old brick buildings look like a lot of them are restored. But I bet they've been here a long, long time. Must be their historic district. Pretty cool. getting out of town. We are heading south. Next stop will be that Thermopolis. We're heading our, making our way down to Utah. Going through this great state of Wyoming. It's supposed to be a little town up here called Thermopolis. It has a major hot springs and all kinds of good stuff. We got blue sky, few clouds, a little breezy, not bad. Perfect day for a nice drive. Since we left Buffalo, Wyoming, this has just been one epic, beautiful, scenic, I don't even know how else to describe it, drive. Miles wise, not real far, but oh my goodness, it just keeps giving. Anyway, here we are, we're getting into Thermopolis. a big sign on the side of that mountain there, hill, scenic area, yay, oh wow, look at the copper dome down there, let's check it out, wow, look at this, that's all hot springs down there, my goodness, that's a park. Hot Springs Park, something like that down there. My goodness. Look at all the calcium buildup. Jeez. <laughs> Talk about prehistoric. That copper roof down there stands out, doesn't it? Look at the cars down there in the sign. Mineral Hot Springs. Now you can really see it. Look at the pools. Look at the formation the minerals have made over the eons of that water coming out of there. And they built a park right around it. Got a little bridge going across. Oh my goodness. <laughs> it's like Shangri-La up here. I bet they got camping and stuff down there too. Swimming pools. Wonder what it looks like in the winter time when the snow hits. I bet all the steam, everything coming up off. That must be the town of Thermopolis there. We're gonna be cruising through. We're gonna keep trucking straight south. We're heading on down. What a pretty place. Let's cruise through town. What's that sign? Hot Springs State Park. You betcha. Place is something else. I didn't really have plans on stopping here this trip. 
but I'll guarantee you what Wyoming's on the bucket list to come back to there's just too much here not to explore more hopefully next season but while we're here we're gonna keep looking green grass small town <laughs> back road small towns love it a little hazy not bad look at the old motel with the log cabins well it looks like main street another motel Ooh, you know what let's stop Stretch your legs, take a walk. I see a perfect place parked this big old van. One thing, the van, it's long and it's hard to find parking sometimes. But this will work. They got a little downtown area. Let's go check it out. Old brick buildings. Look how the medium, there's a statue. Let's go see what that's in there. Looks like a cowboy or something. Yeah, look at the old buildings, all the little businesses now. It's good to see everything coming back to life. Businesses are opening back up. The old mercantile. <laughs> Street lamps. So what do we got here? Back in the old days, huh? Cowboy and his horse. Cool. You know, there's ranches all over. And Wyoming is just its own little world here. Really cool place. Huh. Look at that. Perfect. Wow, look at those. Huh. Cool. When I was mapping this out, we're going to go through a big canyon. Wind River, something like that. Perfect flowers. Well, let's head down back to the van. Looks like some of these are still closed down. Hazel and pearls. Quilt shop. There you go. Well, cool little stop. Definitely want to come back, check out that state park and those hot springs someday. All right, this is supposed to be one epic drive down through here, too, according to what I read online. <laughs> Never been through here. This is the first trip. We're exploring back roads, small towns. Actually, a pretty good sized town. Seeing a lot of businesses, quite a few motels, so it must be tourists. Because you're not that far uh, from Teton National Park, and then a little farther north, you go up uh, Yellowstone. Not that far away at all. Okay, we're going to stick on Highway 20. Right up here we should start 
I think it's called Wind River Canyon. Oh boy, avoid broken windshields. <laughs> okay. This is Wind River Canyon. It's supposed to be world famous for whitewater rafting, fly fishing. Look at that, I bet it closes in the winter. They just got the gates, too much snow, they just pull the gate down. There's a little pole out there. Cool, perfect. What's that? Oh, this is reservation, Wind, Wind, Wind River Indian Reservation. Look at that. Okay. I think it's about a 15 mile stretch we're going to go through here. I've passed two pull outs. I'll take the next one. This is like driving through. This must be the Wyoming Grand Canyon. <laughs> Every state, they got a cool canyon you can drive through. Railroad track on the other side. I bet that thing echoes when it goes through here. Oh, man. Loud and proud. We say, let's stop at this one. This looks good. Yeah, the, those uh, cliffs here are tall. We're way down in here. Perfect. All right, let me get parked. Well, they got the name right. Look at this. It is windy. <laughs> Look at this place. My goodness. Just hike right down there and start fishing. Look at the rapids. There's a big state park at the bottom of this thing, too. Boyson State Park, something like that, according to the maps. Look at the cliffs. This is one busy road, too. Thank goodness I got pull-offs here. This would be really hard to film. But look at all the rapids down through there. That would be a wild ride. They got rubber rafts. You can hire, go fly fishing. Take a ride down that, you'd remember it. Keep the camera rolling, enjoy the ride. Stop at this one. Ooh, some kind of memorial there or something. Check that. It's getting a little wider. We're getting down farther in this thing. A little memorial there. Probably part of the Indian culture. I'm just in awe of these cliffs. And it just keeps going. <laughs> going and going. Wouldn't you like to be in a helicopter and fly over this thing? It's way too windy to even think about the drone. It's too bad. All right, keep on trucking.
Here we go. Yeah, these cars don't slow down for nothing. Well, get down at the bottom. Looks like on the uh, phone we got uh, a few miles left. We end up at a big lake. State Park. I bet you do get broken windshields in here. Them little rocks dropping off the cliffs all the time. That train track on the other side of the river. See, it widens in spots here, but look at... Ugh, I, I keep saying it, I'm sorry. <laughs> the scenery. Big cliffs. But with all the pullouts, I mean, you can really enjoy this area. They made it pretty accessible, except for the winds. They are screaming. They're shoving a van all over the place right now. Haven't seen too many rafters. A couple of them back, back a ways. Well, I think we're getting out of it. It's getting a lot wider. Cliffs are getting smaller. Looks like the river's calming down a little bit too. A few buildings right here on the left. Looks like a day use area. That might even be camping. Look at the train track goes through that rock over there. I wonder if I can get a picture of that. Let me stop here a second. They bored that uh, tunnel right through that rock for that train. Too bad a train ain't coming right now. Darn. Well, let's take a break. Right through that big chunk of rock there, man. They put a tunnel. Wow. Wouldn't that be cool if a train came through here? Probably wait all day and nothing. <laughs> and it just keeps right on going. Cool little stop. Have to get a. I wonder if they have a schedule online of the trains. Time it out sometime. Watch it go through that tunnel. All right, let's keep on going. Once again, this is Wind River Canyon. Wind River Indian Reservation. Just below Thermopolis, Wyoming. There's some rapids. I bet that's what they go for is down here and get some of those rapids. Cool. Look, another train tunnel, and guess what? We got tunnels. 14-foot clearance, 
Should be good to go. All right. Tunnel number one. <laughs> Right on through number two. Look on the other side, there's another train tunnel. Wonder when they built this road. It has been eons ago, huh? Here's number three. And we are through. And that's it. <laughs> oh man, it ended. Here's a big campground. Look at this. The tunnels are the last of it. Big old campground right there. You could spend a couple days exploring all this up through here, especially if you fly fish. If you like fishing, rafting, kayaking, canoeing. Or just sightseeing like me. Upper Wind River Campground. That's what we're passing right now. They got a lot of campsites down there. Doesn't look too full either. You'd have to put up a little bit of wind though. Wow, look at the size of that dam. Oh, we gotta stop here too. That is huge, big earth dam there. This must be that Lake Boyson, something like that. I think it's a state park here too. See if we can pull down in there. Here you go. Let's try this. Wow, that's a big lake. Big parking area here, too. Right there's a dam. Well, how cool is this? Wow. Well, we made it through. Look how flat it's getting out there. We're, we're about the end of it. What the sign? Day use, 12 bucks. Camping, $18. If you're a Wyoming resident, it's cheaper. Probably no hookups or nothing. They generate power out of that thing, too. Look at that. Interesting. What a great ride through there. That was nice. Look at the traffic heading up back the other way. A few more clouds down here. I don't know what the weather. They might get a chance of rain. Sign says a couple more campgrounds. Right down below there. What an epic drive. What a scenic epic drive from Thermopolis down here. My goodness. And they end up at this big lake, State Park. They got a marina down there. All kinds of good stuff. Great camping, fishing, you name it, it's here. Thank you, Wyoming. I hope you enjoyed this epic drive through Wyoming on Highway 16 through all the little towns. This is the Once in a Lifetime series. We'll be continuing.
Talk soon.